As property owners and investors, please be aware that unemployment in Australia is likely going to 5.0%, 5, 5 but certainly up to 4.5% area. Today it only came in at 4.1%. That's a slight increase from the 4.0%. So that's 4.1% for June, slight increase over previous months, 4.0%. What was interesting is that apparently actual jobs numbers went up about 50,000. There was a mix of full-time and part-time, of course, but still unemployment went up by another 10,000. Uh, so there is a lot of pain in the community and I feel that this month's jobs number in terms of new jobs was probably uh, a little bit swinging to the positive side and that could be corrected in next month's data and certainly won't be as high uh, and we could well see a 4.2% uh, print next month as we move to 4.5% unemployment. Normally this would be of great concern to property owners, property investors. However, I continue to highlight that the sheer demand brought on by extreme immigration, I'm all for immigration, but extreme immigration means there is a long pipeline. I mean, even if we stopped in immigration right now, which of course, hopefully we don't, but even if we stopped immigration completely right now, there is now a three to five year pipeline of strong demand for residential properties. So this is going to persist. But as I've said before, that'll be highly specific to different regions. And that's why you should refer to your experts at propertyclub.com.au. Uh, but I think this also adds to the weight against the Reserve Bank of Australia raising interest rates. I think uh, Michelle Bullock, the governor, and uh, many at the RBA will be wanting to raise interest rates as inflation remains firm, but they simply will not be able to because the economy is showing all signs of weakness and they have to get ahead of the curve instead of waiting for data results. So I think they're going to just have to live with a higher rate of inflation if that's going to be the case uh, as the economy continues to weaken badly. In fact, I think Australia could already be experiencing a negative quarter of economic growth as we speak and we just haven't seen the data for that yet. Um, so I just wanted to say also that that pipeline of immigration demand, as I've said before in previous videos, is going to uh, be stronger than any rate hike anyway. So even if the RBA hikes an, another time, and that would be the most, at, at the worst case scenario is only one more rate hike from the RBA uh, because the economy really is slowing. And the external sector could be under pressure too. I mean, if there was any China uh, US military exchange, uh, investors would be very wary uh, of the Australian situation uh, and that could also drive down interest rates here uh, and also could even increase immigration here. So it, it's a very complex sort of field out there at the moment but overall I think this immigration pipeline of three to five years is going to you know really be the dominant feature of what drives residential property prices uh, for the foreseeable future, regardless of what the Reserve Bank does. And now my forecast is shifting from one rate hike, which would be another mistake. I've said two hikes ago that they should be cutting rates. Another rate hike, another mistake is the worst case scenario, only one. And it's looking more and more likely there will be no further RBA rate hikes, uh, but they will be slow to cut rates. And in any case, irregardless, the high immigration rate will push residential property prices higher for some time. I think I've said that a few times now. I hope you have a very good day. Thank you.